Croatia belongs to one of the best countries in Europe when it comes to reptile diversity. 15 snake species live here, 3 of which are venomous and 2 that are middly venomous. Some of the species are globally really rare and endangered, but here there are still some locations where they can be found. Last year in summer I visited Kirk Island, the largest island in Croatia where snake diversity is really high. However, summer is a really bad season for snakes and other reptiles because of the high temperatures that make them much less active. Despite that, I still managed to see and catch some reptile species over the island. However, Kirk Island has much more to offer than that. Therefore in 2023 during spring, the season when reptile activity is highest, I came to visit the same island again, but this time I was not alone. I joined an expedition with many skillful herpetologists from different countries and continents, hoping to see more snake and other reptile species of the island. The weather looked promising and good locations were already picked out. Now it is on us, on our ability to catch all 8 snake species of the island and show you their secret life here. So the first morning herping is here. Here we have Michael, Hello. his girlfriend Kate, Hi. and his brother Jakub. On our first day on the island, the weather was warm and the reptiles were active. It didn't take us long to find the first specimens of the trip. The first reptile is caught, the Italian wall lizard, caught by Michael. Just, yeah. Beautiful Herman Stortis. And already about 30 minutes later, Maciej has found the first snake species of the in trip. The, in the bushes, the snake was just basking now. Quite dark individual, but uh, nice size already. What do you think, David? Yeah. Oh, fantastic! Good snake that is a for good the start. Snake. That's a nice so size. This snake. is one of the biggest snakes in Europe, one of the heaviest snakes in Europe. Really beautiful species. They're so calm. It's like really amazing. Wow. Yeah, it's it's one of my favorite species here in Balkan Peninsula. The four-lined snake is one of the most common snake species of Kirk Island and after a few minutes we had found another huge individual. Another four line? No one checked this, everyone just walked around so I came here and then I saw a head sticking here. Oh! So, the head was sticking there? Yeah, just in, in those rocks and the snake is absolutely cold. It's really cold when you touch it, so and it went it's still up there all the way over to here. Oh yeah, it's it very cold. Went from the forest, <laughs> like yeah. almost freezing. <laughs> and it went up Whoa. here to to bask on these yeah. rocks. So this is a great place, even for the nose horn vipers. We should like check these kind of areas which are close to dense vegetation. That's okay. from where the snakes go, you know, outside right. to bask. Very soon after these two snakes, we also found one unique oh, yeah. animal. The legless lizard shelter pussy. Oh, oh. This lizard is the largest legless lizard in the world, and here on Kirk it's quite common.
we continue searching. The group is splitting and Michael and I continue searching together. After some time, we are catching new snake species for the trip. So when we were walking with Willy, we spotted this amazing colored uh, grass snake. It just went yeah. straight up to the rock, but Willy saw it and with the teamwork we caught it. So now we have another snake species. Yeah, like it's pretty common, but always makes us happy. Uh, and, and for David. Of course, yeah. He's from USA, so for him it will be another, you know, target species from yeah. for his life. So we are super happy that he will see it. Yeah. Good job. Good job. You are sometimes a very scary man, David. Another amazing catch by Michael. Yeah. Juvenile four-lined snake yeah. and it it's not same as adult at all as you can see it doesn't have those four lines but it has these beautiful spots yeah, it was just basking on the rock it was pretty slow actually so I just grab it and pretty amazing yeah. snake I right. this is my second second specimen I see yeah I always found the adult ones but Checking the stone walls, we need to walk slowly and look a little bit to the front because uh, you need to see the snake first. If the snake sees you first, it's usually gone in a few seconds. Yeah. So an amazing catch, we have a green whip snake here. As you can see, this snake is not green at all, but that's because this is a subspecies with black form found on specific locations, including the Kirk Island in Croatia. A pretty big individual. As we were looking for the snakes, suddenly, Maciej and I heard David shouting something. <laughs> Show me. Oh wow, that's a giant. You got a leopard snake or... <laughs> Did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you from the car from, oh. from there. <laughs> I was just oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is what? exciting for me, though. Yeah, this, it's, it's a big I, one. I saw it's pictures awesome. of these. It's a big one. In the, really in the nice. It's Balkan green lizard. Balkan green lizard, lizard. yeah. Wonder where it's it's green and it's on Balkan, so I think it's... Yeah, it's a good name. <laughs> After photographing this huge lizard, we went road cruising. <laughs> we all. We are it covering just, this place like. So what happened? Looks, yeah, it looks like there's a dead, uh, dead leopard snake. Or yes. uh, yeah. Oh, we don't know. We will check it. Yeah, Katya is just there. She. Oh, she's right sorry. there. Right here. Yeah, I was here are. like. I saw there was just one motorbike. There was a motorbike. Yes. No, but the motorbike. It couldn't come now. It could be. Oh, oh my! Oh. Freshly killed. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. We are oh. we can't stay here like that. This is going to be good. Oh, oh. 
Oh but that's yes. not from now. The, yeah, actually, I, the, the, the since are, dents are there, it's the not that are fresh. There, it's not so fresh. No, yes, it's not, fresh. it's not so fresh. Though the body looks like it's, it's fresh. It's from today, maybe. Yes. But it's not like super no. super fresh. I don't know. I was in here. I was walking on the Again, other side. Again, it's the same thing. It's pictures. like the eyes are already these, sucked. You can miss these things which are just here. You know? even Susanna missed it. You know? Well, that's interesting. It's a dead citula here on the road. Dead leopard wow. snake. Mm. Clipped it right on the head. Yeah, right on the head. Yeah. So I think it was someone who was driving up and the snake was maybe just here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just just going down from this road. From the afternoon. Yeah. Many snakes die each year on the roads. The leopard snake is one of the rarest snake species of Europe, and seeing a dead individual doesn't make us happy at all. But it also gives us motivation to continue searching for them because we see that they are here and that they are active. Big centipedes. Got a big one. <laughs> and after a few hours of intense herping and road cruising, we have finally we have found one. Snake. Amazing. Finally an alive yeah, one. This is amazing. <gasps> careful, careful, it's bitey. Oh, we caught a wonderful... This is an adult, right? Yes! yes. <laughs> oh. It's beautiful, it's amazing. Indeed Color. a leopard. Uh, oh, oh yeah, she's biting a GoPro. <laughs> Don't let her bite the GoPro, it can damage you. What do you think, David? Oh, this is fantastic. Uh, adult leopard snake for the first time in our lives. We have our friend David from the USA here with us. This is absolutely stunning. Just a stunning This is one of the rarest moment. snakes of Europe. And it's for the first time in our lives to see an adult. We already saw a uh, juvenile two times, Holy but this is, this is a dream come true. This is Indeed. absolutely amazing. It's, it's shaking, it's shaking yeah. the tail, shaking. which is no, a defensive really? me mechanism. Yes, that's amazing. Oh, 16 degrees. No, we should catch it probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. The leopard snakes are mostly active at the dusk and during the nights. The nights here were cold, and so we thought that snakes probably wouldn't be active. But we were surprised. Finding this species in the wild is not common nowadays. It prefers habitats such as plantations, pastures and habitats with Mediterranean type shrubs. We are finishing our first day with catching a middly venomous snake species, the European cat snake. Amazing! A middly venomous snake. This is awesome. And yeah, here are some other people from the crew. Pro ochrance crew. We are Mat Matos Preciti. Oh, Matos Vulcek, but you can see him. You will see him tomorrow on the sun. And then we are returning to our accommodation and getting ready for tomorrow. Hey, we were just scrolling and uh, trying to do some herping in our garden and uh, I really wanted to find scorpion on Kirk Island and I just flipped this piece of stone and it was under it, this beautiful, quite a big Euroscorpius, Euro you can see it like here. Wow, I'm really looking forward to photographing it. Here is another one and here is another one and this is another species, kidding me, that's my life for this beautiful one. Where is it? Oh, bigger. There is bigger. Sorry, sorry. Hey, on the. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. yeah. Wow, beautiful one. But they seem to I, be very common. I, I, here. I, 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 uh, this is Podarsis sicula, Italian wall lizard. It's probably the most common reptile species here on the island. Matos flipped it under a rock here on our garden, and it's my life, friends. Absolutely amazing. So happy about it.
So uh, Matos Vulcek from our team flipped this beautiful slow worm. It's a legless lizard similar to the Sheltopusik we caught yesterday and it's pretty common in the Central Europe. <laughs> Filming a slow worm. So I was photographing a slow worm and in the meantime the other, the crew caught a melanic Esculapian snake, which is just incredible. It's also very polite, yeah. it's not biting, it's very calm. Wonderful. Very cool wow. snake, oh my god. Wow. A melanic one even. And with yeah. some nice yellow, yellow spots on her head. <laughs> yeah, everybody is excited. No. Because, this is absolutely yeah. ridiculously amazing yeah <laughs> like it's once in a lifetime black like eyes this. black skin yeah, yeah. Well, we were <laughs> watching <laughs> the Esculapian snake meanwhile put them together. Put them another together. shelter pussy what a what a start together. of a yeah, day yeah, good okay. idea good idea <laughs> no right now congratulations Jakub it's extremely oh, cold you. snake put him close so I can, mm. can i please can i grab it <laughs> After photographing this glass lizard, we continued searching. Only two snake species of the island remain now, the Balkan whip snake and a venomous nose horned viper. We got a snake! This is the one I spotted, yeah. Wow. What is it? I think it's a Balkan whip. whip. Wow. How much have you I got? Just need to if it is a Balkan whip snake, then only so nose horned viper slow, we have to find. Slow, Whatever you do, don't let him get away. So, David was scaring uh -huh. the snake from the other side, and I was waiting here, and he came like this, and I was able to grab we him. We did I just it. Need to be very careful. I spotted him like 20, 30 and minutes slow. ago, huh? and so we came back slowly, slowly, yeah. quietly. And I scared him right into his. Yeah, it's it's a I spotted a Balkan. Yes. It's Can a I... new species, David. Oh, yeah. just slowly. For this slowly. trip. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, he's going. What is this? <gasps> yes. Oh my. Wow. It's so much better. That's beautiful. a giant. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yes, David. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, I will need to. Yes, but he's been vaccinated, so he's, he's okay. He's yeah. vaccinated. <laughs> so yeah, but of course, it doesn't hurt you. Snakes have very small, sharp teeth, so it's bleeding a lot when they bite you, but otherwise there is nothing dangerous about it. This species is non-venomous, so uh, I'm gonna be fine. The rest of the day was spent searching for the nose horned viper. We checked a lot of great habitats where the potential of finding this species was high. We found some other cool snake species. So we are road cruising and we found a juvenile leopard snake. Part of our group went to uh, another spot near to uh, some nice pond uh, to check some birds, but we saw some interesting snakes. Uh, such as uh, this little Esculapian snake it's interesting that this black snake is Esculapian snake because normally it's brown and this is a little baby and it's really but no yeah. nose horned vipers since the darkness was slowly coming we had to film some animals we wanted now okay so Matoj and I are starting to work with the leopard snake with the baby one we found with living zoology and david a few hours ago oh it's biting it's cute So uh, we finished with filming and photographing the leopard snake and now we are continuing herping and when the darkness will fall we are going to 
film The Cat Snake, which we caught previous night. Actually, a little bit change of plan. We finished with a leopard snake, as you could see, uh, and we joined the crew. And now we are going actually to film and photograph the Sheltopusik. The glass lizard. Today it was the first day I've seen it. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's like see. dark one, I think. Yeah, dark like tree. Wow, beautiful one. Yes. Okay, so we finished with photographing the Sheltopusik and the cat snake. And uh, yeah, that is probably the end of this day. Maybe we will try to film this cat snake also uh, when it will be completely dark. This snake is probably one of the most interesting and amazing snakes I have ever seen. It's the first nocturnal snake I have ever seen. It's active in the night and it's hunting, I think, lizards and maybe other snakes. Yeah. And um, it's called cat snake because of its um, uh, cat-like eyes. Yeah. We ended this day with filming the cat snake and went to have a short rest because tomorrow we have to wake up early. Our third day on the island, we mostly spent filming the reptiles we had caught. Everybody filmed everything they wanted, we went back to the locations where we caught the snakes to release them there. It's surprising. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the snake is curious. doing? No, just it's just chilling just on your chill head. Chilling, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Find shelter where they can find food, water, and they are not stressed. So let's see where the snake will go. As you can see, it's already looking for shelters, and of course, it's going back to the same spot where it was called before. Bye bye. Another four line snake awesome. is going back home. This is a darker individual. It was right here. So I'm going to let it go. And now we will release it a little bit more uh, far in the vegetation, in those rocks, uh, because it's much safer than on the road. Let's go. So let's go. It's so tiny. Yeah, it's really tiny. It's really small. <laughs> and it just disappears there. Wow. I don't know if it's even visible in the GoPro. Maybe it is. I called Martina. Yeah. 
When we released all of them, we went road cruising. And the night still well, managed bigger, the surprise. Think, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. The third yeah. sequel of the trip. <laughs> what do you think, David? I think this one is really just spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> and it has like the reddish background. And I got yeah, to see it belly. with everybody yeah. reddish belly. all together. <laughs> yeah, it's good that we are all How come all with here? these we say, is that a snake? And we all look at each other and say, that's a snake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finding three leopard snakes in just three days was an incredible experience. The expedition had by now been really successful. But still, there's one snake species on the island we haven't found yet. The Nose Horned Viper. This is our last day on the island and our last opportunity to find this species. The weather slowly started getting worse but the habitat for this snake was good. So, we started searching. Yeah. Okay, so as you can hear, there is probably a lake or pond here, because you can hear the marsh rocks. Mm -hmm. but, it, but it looks like it's very small. Yeah, but we, Matos and I are going to check it. And still looking for some Amodites. Yeah, we are fishing for the nose horned viper. And this is like really nice habitat, so we are probably gonna check it later. Wow, wow, wow. Like these rocks in the forest. Here is the pond. Let's see if we can find something here. Yeah, these are. <laughs> These are marsh frogs here. And then, after a few hours of searching, we got one. So many days of looking for them. <sighs> yeah. Oh so my man. god. And we found two of them. And together. Susanna was just telling me that <laughs> yes. we can like flip one juvenile. Two and nose horned vipers. She flipped the stone and it was right there. It yeah, was so cool. Yeah, and then cool. I said. Oh. Do you see it? <laughs> we are. Right it's, really well it's really well oh, camouflaged. It's really well camouflaged in this habitat. The First history. expedition with so what do you think? species living <laughs> on awesome. Kirk Island, probably. It's awesome. Oh, it's like we so couldn't cool. find it all the expedition, it? Uh, and now yeah. you know, on the last hour, hour, or yeah, or our yeah. last hour on the island, we found yeah. two. So it means that they are present here. Probably it's not Cuba and like the other uh, yeah. Susanna so with teamwork of Michael. They should be just. Here and mm -hmm. I was down nobody. Then we were so, so very happy yeah. and we heard Kate screaming. <laughs> 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 My GoPro <laughs> didn't work. But we ran, we caught a baby horned viper and we ran all the way to this hill. And Jakub caught another one. So now we have. All snake species okay. of the Kirk Island, including the venomous oh, nose horned viper. We are very soon moving to the Tres Island to try to find the Eastern Montpelier snake. But we caught two nose horned vipers, so we must work with them immediately. So, yeah, everybody is now going to take footage of it, photos, and everything. So uh, we caught, as you could see, two beautiful nose horned vipers, juveniles, 
it is really amazing because we were struggling to find this snake like we found all of the species of the Kirk Island and we couldn't find this one and now we found two at the same time and uh, as you can see this one has really beautiful coloration it's a little bit darker than the second one you will see it of course and uh, it has a beautiful reddish coloration on the back of the tail which is typical for nose horned vipers so it's 17 degrees outside it may look a little bit cold but as you can see the snakes are still active <laughs> The nose horned viper is one of the most venomous snake species of Europe. It is also considered to be the most dangerous snake species of Europe because of its long fangs which are equipped with strong venom. It got its name thanks to the outgrowth on its nose which looks like a horn, but the function of it is not known. This species prefers dry, rocky habitats with bushes where it is very well camouflaged. It started raining, but everybody is finished with snake work and now it's time to release it back to its natural habitat. Actually them, because we caught two. And we found all eight species of snakes on this island and uh, this was like in the last minute basically last uh, place which we just checked and a location where we have never been mm -hmm. that was also cool and it was successful teamwork again makes the dream work uh, we found two in the same moment basically well now it's time to go to Ceres Island so uh, we will release the snake here close to the stone wall because a rain is coming and it's getting colder so we want the snake to uh, hide nicely as you can see uh, today it was to not very it. hot so uh, snakes didn't uh, have a chance to bask properly so uh, they will need to uh, hide and hopefully tomorrow it's going to be warmer and sunnier and uh, they will get a nice bask so I'll try to guide like this baby viper there to the hole and uh, it looks like it will find its way inside and uh, it will be safe there. We are really happy that we found this little cute viper and after filming it it's time to release it back. It's getting cold, so I think she will be happy to hide somewhere. Our stay on Kirk Island was successful. We managed to catch all snake and lizard species of the island and film them from the close distance. Now, after completing the snake list of this island, it is time to move to the neighboring island, the Tres Island. We are on the ferry and we are moving to the Tres Island. The first day on Tres was at the same time my last day on this expedition. Sadly it was raining the entire day and therefore reptiles were not active. But we had some fun exploring the sea creatures. 
and it's really cool. And they're very oh powerful because they slowly, 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 slowly open the shell. Okay. And then the stomach goes inside, eats, and it comes back out. And they absorb, absorb it. That's an, it's an animal. Catch it, catch it. <laughs> yeah. David will show you how it's done to pass it. Yeah, hopefully you can do a better job. Yes. David is going to catch this enormous crab. And David, the crab master, is going to catch oh my the biggest oh, no. crab no. of the sea no. of the no, no. no! But maybe he's still there. No, what a maybe. <laughs> the master is getting ready for the final catch. He needs to be super fast. Get a little more out. And Do you still okay. see him? Uh -huh. ah. oh. And the position. This is the moment. <coughs> what happened? <laughs> No? Oh! Jesus, that hurts! Oh! oh. I, you you got, got it! it. <laughs> wow! You got it! Amazing! He's almost big enough to eat. <laughs> almost big enough to eat. <laughs> yeah. To eat humans, you mean? Wow. Oh, oh. nice. That's wow. a big And it's slow. It's awesome. Oh, oh. wow, it's big. I'm leaving Croatia next day in the morning with much natural footage and new experiences with new reptile species. Working with the most dangerous snake of Europe, finding three endangered rare leopard snakes, coming across unusual legless lizards or catching a melanistic form of an Escalapian snake were just stunning adventures. Because of the bad weather, this time I didn't have the opportunity to find and film the eastern Montpellier snake, which inhabits the Tres Island. But that gives me the reason to visit this island again in the future. <laughs>